scenario is pins and needles in the hands, pins and needles in the arms can get cold sensations, especially at night time when you're sleeping. Uh, they wake up and oh, just everything goes numb and you have to shake it off. Uh, repetitive work uh, with your hands, whether you're in the gym, uh, whether you're driving long distances, whether you're working physically, manual labor, you can get pins and needles and, and, and you can get painful and get cold sensations. Um, what else do you feel? Um, just loss of... Um, loss of uh, feeling. dexterity, feeling, yeah, yeah, yeah. all those things. So it's all to do with your nerves, obviously, that run from your neck, your neck joints, down through under your collarbone, right? Here's your collarbone through under here and down into your arm. They're the brachial plexus. It's the nervous system that sits in there. You also must not forget about your vascular system, which is your blood vessels, your veins, your arteries that follow your nerves. The same channel all the way down under here, through, under the muscles that I always talk about, your pecs, especially under here, under your armpit and into your arm. So you can get pins and needles in specific places, but they're specific nerves, it doesn't matter. The brachial plexus all starts here. So you get the x-rays done and so on and you check MRIs done, check C, three, four, five, six. Generally, if it's all happy days, it's all okay. It's nothing serious, nothing significant. You wanna consider the muscle system in this region here, all just really tight. It's like you're sitting on the toilet too long and your feet go numb. It's just compressed. Stress is a big player. Whenever you're stressed, the muscles around here just goes <coughs> right? You don't even know it's happening. So that's compression alone. So you always must consider up here, not just something is wrong in my hands. People always go straight to the elbow and hands. Not necessarily. You want to always look up here first and look at your history. What happened in your history? Surgeries, car accidents, traumas, stress is a big one that people don't look at. Stress is a huge one. Postures that you get into at work, you know, what type of work do you do, etc. I always recommend on previous videos, stretching your chest, always stretching your chest, stretching your lats, hanging off walls, you always see me here hanging, and always rolling out the middle of your back on foam rollers. So I'll just remind you on this video again, You've got to stretch them all the time, especially if you're a computer desk job, you're a manual laborer, you're in the gym a lot, you drive a lot, you fly a lot. You have a lot of stress in your life and you're always like this. To decompress this area where the nerves are being annoyed and the blood vessels are being annoyed.